hello and welcome in this video i have presented the descriptions and the detail about the building of machine learning project based on edge and pulse platform it's a challenge for july month and they proposed this time three project which are persons detections basketball explorer and counting cubes uh, i'll be covering the person detections project in this video so they advise to improve in a three different approaches like quality they are looking to the quality that would be a data you have to look into the data you have to feed more data in order to improve the accuracy of the model innovations could be anything like uh, the project should be novel and you have to provide them use case applications where that application can be deployed in the real life case and the originality you have to look into the perspective of um, novel approach along with the, the new data you can take the data from open source but not from someone else projects i would say so these are the three criteria and let's go to the presentation section about the small talk so that i can explain better uh, how i improve the model and after close so this part is like clear so the, as i mentioned uh, the website link are in the descriptions that how you can go and clone the project basically so i cloned the person detections project which was uh, suitable for some of the use case scenario after i clone the project uh, if you don't have the edge impulse account you have to create a new one and then you clone the project into your account and then you can do the following things so basically i club everything in one slide i would say yeah so you have to the, the task was just to add more data and retain and deploy the model so what i have done before i start i evaluated the whole project and i found the cleaning data part was necessary for that particular project because there were some images which was labeled uh, not which was not labeled correctly like we, they doesn't belong from the uh, person class so i have removed that data images from the for, from the projects and then i have checked as well in the testing folder i, I will see in testing sections so then i remove those particular images as well which doesn't belong to the person class it was labeled incorrectly that was kind of improvement i would say along with the accuracies and then i have a cuckoo data set i was having available so i just look for particularly images which are which consist a person so i have uh downloaded all those person images and i uploaded via the edge impulse provide frameworks and i make sure that there was already some of the picture that were already taken from cuckoo data set so i look that things manually and after that i start playing with the hyper parameters so you can see with the table like i start with the 96 by 96 image size and with the epochs and the learning rate i mentioned so initially it was performing very poor on mobile on fomo i tried with fomo because i want to deploy that on my open MV microcontroller and it's take up to 96 plus 96 image size so i tried many uh, hyper parameters but eventually i ended up with the uh, 64 plus 64 and epoch number of epoch was 45 the learning rate was 0 0.001 and the accuracy was 85% when I have that. Uh, lesser than 0 0.001 accuracy, but still it was not performing well on data. So that was the maximum accuracy I received. So the possible application, one of the case was like, uh, what are the possible applications? Uh, so basically what I've thought about it, uh, air scene person counter could be an interesting and novel um, application. I would say like uh, just a sh one short comments on that. Like nowadays there, there are screen installed in malls and public area. Uh, they are owned by third parties. So they want to count persons, how many persons have looked into these ads so if we deploy some kind of tiny ML there, that could be very beneficial for the market. Like you can save a lot of energy and I don't want to go in depth for the tiny ML benefits, I would say. And countering pedestrian along with the path and cross track so you can uh, install both on the, on the road for surveillance. Also that can be for the home securities and detect visitor exec trust. You can, and the, one of the other possibles could be like analyzing 
shopping behavior or dwell time like you can install an order different way and then you can feed and you can collect different data from it and i would say the projects are publicly available the links are in the descriptions for the public project and in case you have problem i i found some blogs and there was problems to making the project link publicly available so you can refer to the below link and you can make it the project public and now the second sections we will you will go to the deployment of the project on open so this is the project overall so let's go with the dashboard though you can see it's very common dashboard and the project was cloned from their provided project and let's go directly to the object accuracy section and you can see it's 85 percent uh, pretty good for a single object with more than 200 plus images and then let's go to model testing we had also still 75 percent accuracy which is kind of better and initially it was very low i would say and let's check with the Uh, it's detecting pretty well and let's go directly to the deployment part i would say so once we are in the deployment you just click on open ME library and then you just click on build it you will it will download a zip file for you and then what you will do you just go directly and unzip that file and after unzipping file you open the open ME IDE. I hope you have installed it already. So once you open the open ID, you go directly to that folder location, just click on open file and open that file with the EI object detection. So once you open, I already opened, so I'll just click on cancel and then you just connect your camera. And let's see now do the inference live where I open MB, I would say. So you can see it's detect pretty well the person class and uh, yeah i had multiple object so it doesn't detect that i would say you see and let's go with the mouse so yeah it's uh, doing pretty well the classification as you can see also over here and it's giving me the coordinate as well along with the image if i move a bit and it's giving me the different coordinates from x y yeah so that's all I would say. Thank you.